That's the side I sleep on. It's the side I get a fucking sit on. <laughs> you fucked everything up. I used our safe word, but she ignored me and just kept giving me hand jobs. I don't know what to say to her now. I, I wouldn't have know. I wouldn't have called anyone out of being embarrassed that I missed my flight that I was there two hours early for. <laughs> I'd be like, Yep, nope, I'm on that plane, gonna lose service. Bye, click. <laughs> airplane mode like total shame this is how you get lifetime movies scenarios like this and that bitch is gonna kill him <laughs> after a couple more years she's gonna kill him oh, and then snap. it's boom lifetime movie yeah if you create this list you and then it. you don't follow through you better be on top of your shit you gotta you gotta be the one that follows it hands yeah. down because you created it you're the idiot who created this list yeah all righty so i fucked up by making mac and cheese <laughs> my new husband and i had to move in with my parents unexpectedly two days after saying i do it's pretty stressful and my sleep is all messed up so it's midnight and I'm doom scrolling. So I went to the kitchen to make some mac and cheese like 20 minutes ago. Mom and dad had music blasting outside, laughing, whatever. This is nothing new for them. They were drinking at a friend's house and came home tipsy. I looked out the door to tell them it's supper or it's super loud and turn it down. And I saw the full frontal naked getting out of the pool. I left my mac and cheese in the microwave and ran to my bedroom like a traumatized child. My husband is dead asleep, and I'm so hungry and nauseous at the same time. If you need me, I'll be bleaching the sight of pubic hair and paternal peen from the folds of my brain. They were just naked in a pool. Your You're parents. in their house. Your parents. No, no, no. She's not saying that what they did was wrong. She's mad because she saw it well i don't know i would the would physically seeing your dad get out of the pool naked not traumatize you some i wouldn't think i'd have to bleach my eyes <laughs> i mean you know if they're partying in the pool leave them be it's their house she Tell did all she no, did was no. look outside she told him to turn down the music that's their fucking house. They can do whatever they she want. She said she was going to. No, she said. Nope. I looked out looked the door, out the to, door tell to tell them it's super loud and turn it down. And oh. I saw them full frontal naked getting out of the pool. Well, that's still her fault. Well, yeah. They can turn up some ACDC and fuck in the pool all they want. <laughs> it's their house. She never said that they couldn't. She just said it was traumatizing. No. That is traumatizing. It is. Yeah. It's so funny. And then who the fuck microwaves mac and cheese? Huh? I know somebody. Who? Oh, I don't. Oh my God. Who? <laughs> they actually no. They actually have the craft mac and cheese, like in the individual thing. That all you do is microwave. And I know this because of that person. Like it has the cheese and the fluid and everything already mixed. The you just fluid. <laughs> that was so gross. Adding the fluid. Well, you, I don't know. I you use you, water. Yeah, you or use, use water. Like milk or it, cream. It's like um, I think because I've only seen them. But I think you like peel part of the top up, you pour like the water in it, and then you, you know, put it in the microwave, whatever. And it's kind of like, like cup of instant ramen. ramen. Yeah. So it's like that. Yeah. What the fuck? I microwave. That's, how, that's the most. I thought that I would be the most outraged by the microwave <laughs> mac and cheese, but you are like, we haven't even had a microwave in 10 years I don't because get I it. hate them. But yeah, that's crazy. Well, it, I mean, think about it. Kind of serves her right. She went out, she was going to microwave mac and cheese, not put a little effort into it. And then was going to go complain about how loud the music was at her <laughs> parents' house. So, so I'm naked. So she <laughs> That's your fucking fault. You deserved it. You deserve that. You're going to eat microwave mac and cheese. Yep, and you're going to go tell them to turn their music down. That's yeah, that's I a agree. bold statement. You know what? I, who cares if it's too loud? You moved into their house two days after you said, I do. it sounds very unexpected. 
that they moved in to this house yeah, two days do, after getting married. How do you so, unexpectedly move in two days after you got married? I'd like to know the story behind that. How do you unexpectedly move in to your parents' house two days after a wedding? I don't know. What'd you fuck up? <laughs> the mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> she burnt it down making ramen. <laughs> I'd get rid of the fucking microwave. Yeah, the microwave <laughs> caught on fire. Burnt the whole fucking place down. What in the fuck? Yeah. So, yeah, I just... You don't get to tell your parents to go turn the music down. Nope. Her husband's even dead asleep. He yep. doesn't care about the... You're literally the only yep. person who cares about the noise. You are going to go complain about your parents having a good time. They probably don't want you there. They let you there, yeah. stay there. because There's probably a reason they're drinking yeah. in the pool right now. And naked. With loud music. They're like, <laughs> this will get her the fuck out. Yeah. Fucking leave. <laughs> You're all grown up. You got married. Get the fuck out. And I hope your mom never listens to this podcast. Well, my mom just found out about this podcast. Thank you to my brother. Have fun with this, Kay. <laughs> so she will probably be listening to it. My 18 male girlfriend, 18 female, just ignored my safe word. Boom. Okay. Fuck. This is What's the good. safe word? I don't know. Oh, he never said that? He should have put that in. All right. We were experiencing with BDSM for a couple months now. Last night, she told me that she wanted to see... She wanted to see how many orgasms she can force me into and tied up. And tied me up. I can't even read. At first, it was fun, but I felt like it got too much after the third time and I begged her to stop. I used our safe word, but she ignored me and just kept giving me hand jobs. I don't know what to say to her now. I didn't lash out last night <laughs> after she untied me because I was too tired, but now I feel like I need to have a serious talk with her. I feel lost now and need some <laughs> some and need some help processing this and figure out what to do next the end oh that's so fucking oh oh my god so good oh <laughs> blueberry pancakes <laughs> i was just gonna say is 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 the safe word too common of a word i don't i don't think so i'm really let down that they didn't did you see if there's any comments that he I replied to saying what his actual safe word was. I wonder if the safe word was harder. <laughs> That's such a bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh, man. Yeah. I That's, mean. I, okay. That's rough. Right. Rough. <laughs> it's so many things. Oh, my God. It's hard not to laugh, but in reality, it's fucked up. Oh, yeah, on the serious side of it, that's that crosses a boundary that you're not supposed to, especially with BDSM. It's all about like doing that in a safe way and listening to the other person. But <laughs> but in the fact that way. the fact that it has nothing to do with our lives, super funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like yeah. These 18-year-old kids are getting out of control. Fuck. Uh, you know, it's... <laughs> yeah, it's... It, it's because, like, that's what they see. And they're so desensitized to porn mm -hmm. and what it actually is that... And and what real sex is. I watched a whole documentary on it. Get, yeah, you imagine that. Oh, my God. Yeah. And it was actually about... Um, they interviewed kids with their parents and the kids were like 16 and they're sit they're sitting there with one or both their parents and they're asking them questions like they would show them a video all of them a video and like the kid would be oh well that's not that big of a deal or that's not like hardcore or anything and the parents are like what just happened and the kid is sitting there and just saying yeah that's not I, that's mild for what I see. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So, I mean, you're 18 and that's what you're looking at. There's not, 
I don't know. It's scary where you go beyond that stuff. I think you told me about this documentary. Yeah. And I didn't even want to watch it. Well, it, it had nothing to do with that, but I'm like, super weird that they're sitting there watching porn with their parents for a documentary. No, I, they're not sitting there watching it for an they hour. They were talking they're, it. They're just, they're just, uh, it was like a small clip. Ugh. No. You know, like you watch like maybe 30 seconds of it and then they would talk about it. And that wasn't throughout the whole thing. They were asking him a lot of questions and it was very interesting because you she, think about it and you think about the access that you used to have when the internet wasn't what it is today and mm -hmm. having to be 18 and putting credit cards in and this and that. I mean, you weren't going to steal your parents' credit card and charge porn to it. No. So... Nowadays, that it's completely free, and you can look up so many things. The kids are just so desensitized to it. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay. You got a good one for me? It's titled, Unbelievably Selfish and Entitled. Fuck yes. <laughs> My husband dropped his mom off at JAX airport this morning at 4.30 a.m. for her flight at 6.30. Guess what she did? She missed her flight. It was entirely her fault. And now she's making it our problem. As a courtesy, JetBlue offered to put her on a flight at 9.55 a.m. to Fort Lauderdale, but her flight to return to New York wouldn't depart until 5 p.m. and she would be back home around 11 p.m. Of course, she didn't want to wait several hours at the airport, so she refused the option and wants my husband to come get her at the airport so that one of his uncles, who was staying at our house and didn't plan to leave until later, could drive her back to New York. But here's the thing. Even if she drives back, she would still get there around 11 p.m. anyways. She's making it a massive inconvenience to that uncle, and out of kindness of his heart, he agreed to drive her up, but wants to do what he had planned before doing so. So she has the nerve to whine and complain. We brought her, we bought her ticket as a present, plus paid for her extra baggage, and we can't even get our money back for that. I just can't even deal or rationalize in what universe this makes sense. The amount of brain cells she has left, if any, to come up with something this stupid. Fuck. <laughs> How do you deal with a person like that? She doesn't want to. I I just tell her to rent a car then. Yeah. Drive yourself. Yeah. Drive yourself. You can fucking complain the whole way to yourself. Yeah. This. Why would you along... just not sit there for another two hours? Hop on the next flight and go. Well, and if you were there two hours early before your flight, how did you miss how it? How did you miss it? Was she in the bar drinking? Oh, I don't know. Some places don't serve alcohol until like 8 o'clock, so. Yeah, you never know. Never but know. But this, again, goes along with the brother and the packages. Yep. Because you allow it, and somebody, she's not doing it, but somebody is like, okay, well, I'll, you know, I'll drive you then. Mm-hmm. No. Yep. No, Big. you don't give in to this type of stuff. Big inconvenience. That's wild. Yeah. I can't believe that. Yeah, I, yeah, I would just. No. Yeah. I just hop on the next flight and figure it out. Yeah, I would have been, well, it's your fault. Now you have to pay for whatever flight you're going to because you declined to get on a different flight. You're getting home at the same time. Yeah. That's the point. You're getting home at the same time. So, yeah. You can't talk rational to people like this. In their head, they're right. You can't even fix though stupid. You can't fix stupid. <laughs> even when it's in their head, they're wrong. They're right. They're right. Yeah. Bonkers. I, know. I couldn't imagine. I know. To then drive back to well, the I mean, airport. we could imagine. We yeah. can definitely imagine. We know entitled people, but you and I have just decided to not deal with it. Our answer is just no. Yeah, figure it out. Yeah. Put on your big boy pants, figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. God. I know. That'd be hard. You well, and it's, one? you know, it's your mom. Yeah. So you do feel like you should do something. But if they're being irrational, it's it's their fault for missing the flight in the first place. 
they're the ones who chose to decline being mm-hmm. on a later flight. So now it's all up to them to figure it out. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, they definitely have to. Why would you not just sit there for another two hours and hop on another flight? I don't, I don't get know. That. I wouldn't I have. Know. I wouldn't have called anyone out of being embarrassed that I missed my flight that I was there two hours early for. <laughs> I'd be like, "Yep, nope, I'm on that plane. Gonna lose service. Bye, click." <laughs> <laughs> Airplane mode, like total shame. I can't tell anyone that I missed this flight. Yeah, but the problem is, is you're not getting home until eleven o'clock at night. They don't need to know that. They're not well, there to pick you up. No, they're not there to pick you up. But in my family, we call when we land and everything. So then you pay the five bucks a minute. <laughs> yep, <I> landed. Click <laughs> on the plane. The can't talk to you phone. anymore. Bye. Yeah. You got to suck it up when you're that dumb. All right. I read my mom's text with my brother and found them talking crap about me. Of course. All I did was, <laughs> all I did was type weed into the search bar, which I only smoke. And found my mom's messages with my brother where he's calling me names and telling my mom to kick me out. She hasn't, but she didn't defend me in the messages. She just said, I know, and I've spoken to her. I know it was an invasion of privacy and I shouldn't have done it, but it's really upsetting me. Well, don't know how old she is. No. And... She... She was going through. It's confusing because she's she saying, just she picked up her mom's phone and typed in weed. Why in the messages? Just to see what popped up. Yeah. Oh. It's That's pretty, what I'm it's completely her fault. It's pretty smart for a stoner. <laughs> <laughs> How that's, that's that's a, that shit out? That's a lot of steps to yeah. go through for a stoner. I don't know. Get your own place it's, to smoke all the weed you want. Well, it's but it's not even that. She's upset because somebody was talking crap about her. But you're the one who went to go search that for that information. Yeah, you went and looked out. Of course your mom's probably talking crap about you. You still live at her house. She has the right to do that. Parents can talk shit about their kids. I think yeah. that's okay. Kids they're not do treating like shit. they're not treating the kid like shit, but they need to vent every once in a while. Yeah. And the brother is a sibling, so he's going to talk shit. She went out and looked for it. It's her fault. Yeah, exactly. I, You know what? If you don't want to know the answers, don't ask the question. Don't go searching for the answer. Nope. It's all about... If, it's completely your fault. If you don't want to know the answer to something, do not ask. Do not search for it. If you do, you better be ready. That's crazy. Yeah. That's stupid. Yeah, I would never go through my mom's phone. No. I don't need to know her score on Candy Crush. I don't need to know what level she's on. <laughs> It'd be like 2030. You'd be like, what the fuck do you do all day? Right. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> that's just the thing. To go and search through messages, that's a complete invasion of privacy. Yeah. You opened up the text messages and you went to the search bar and you put something in. If I ever went through your phone for whatever reason and you were venting about me to your mom, let's say. Yeah. I'd be like, yeah, okay. That makes sense. She doesn't treat me any worse. I probably pissed her off at some point. She's just venting. Yeah. I'm not going to take that personally. Like, if you were saying some mean shit, I'd break your phone. <laughs> and then You'd make, be, yeah. and then go buy another one. I'd just break your phone in front of you and be like, boop. <laughs> You'd be like, let me get on my phone. And Guess order you can't a new talk one. shit. And then you just go <laughs> buy another one. Okay. My 32 female husband, 33 male, put together a marriage chore checklist, but doesn't follow it. After a few months of consistently fighting over who does what in our relationship, my husband put together notes, a note stock with rules <laughs> for our marriage. An example of these being. Me, to cook Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Him, cook Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Person who doesn't cook, cleans. Days for who deals with our son, two, (laughs) nighttime routine. Days for who feeds and walks the dog. Guidelines for how much sex we should have. Guidelines for how often we should have date nights. This motherfucker 
has a full calendar. <laughs> <laughs> At first, I thought it was great. Finally, he can see all the unseen work I do looking after our son, dog, and house. And we split it up even more e evenly. I also work. But now, this past week, he hasn't done half his tasks. He comes to me saying, <clears throat> Oh, we haven't had sex this weekend, and we need to follow this. What the fuck? What? Look, I'm all for scheduling sex at... I'm all for scheduling sex as unsexy as it is, but we have a toddler. <laughs> a big reason we've been fighting is because I'm so exhausted from doing all the unseen child work housework and working at the same time so to be quite frank i don't feel like sex at the end of the day if he had done his task i'd be i'd probably be less exhausted and more keen to the idea i don't know what i'm asking here but is it bad that i'm not following my end of the bargain if he doesn't fulfill his he can't have his cake and eat it too i need advice on how to handle this i have I have communicated this and he got pissed off and went for a nap. Sounds like a fucking retard. Well, she doesn't have one child. She has two. Yeah, she has two kids. I mean... <laughs> okay. I get chores. I get chores too. Right? I get chores. That It makes sense. But also, you're married. You each just have to pick up the slack for each other. So you're not always going to 100% follow... A chores list mm -hmm. but it is good you know and the whole breaking it up on days thing i mean for the dog somebody feeds them in the morning somebody feeds them at night you know the routine. like some sort of routine that you can get in and i get days of the week at r2 but you know first of all she should have been a part of making this whole list yeah he shouldn't have just made it and set it out there i no and then and then not following his end. Yeah. If you create this list you and gotta, then you don't follow through, you better be on top of your shit. You got to you gotta be the one that follows it. Hands yeah. down. Because... You created it. You're the idiot who created this list. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. I... And... <laughs> there's three main things that screw up marriages. Money, sex, and children. Yeah. Because those are the three things that you disagree with. And, and stress the most, about. And stress about the most. And with kids, a lot of the time, it's either not being able to have alone time or you disagree on parenting styles or anything like that. Or one person takes more care of the child than the other. You know money and so she's got two of those in there and then she has a husband who makes a list and then doesn't even follow it no like the schedule I'd drinks at seven list. yeah appetizers at eight naked by nine uh, that is so, i just don't monday know. wednesday I don't friday yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i don't understand putting sex on it i i understand discussing it and saying okay we need to do a date night and then maybe People feel more in the mood because they, you know, had a nice night out or a nice night in whatever. And you're like concentrating just on each other. But to put actual. Yeah. All are, right. At nine o'clock, we're going to go get naked. You're not like an ER doctor and have like 45 minutes every six days <laughs> that you can squeeze that in. <laughs> you know, if you're working nine to five, you got tons of time. Yeah. I don't know. I yeah, I just don't make a list and then who feeds the dog somebody whoever's next to an empty dog bowl motherfucker yeah how <laughs> what stuff was not getting done and now they neither one of them are doing it so nothing's getting done could you imagine i like how you and i are both more concerned with the dogs getting fed yeah fuck the kid the <laughs> he'll survive <laughs> he'll be fine he'll go find some fucking yeah, maybe somewhere. that's a really cool dog I wonder what kind of breed it is. Could you imagine if I was standing in the kitchen staring at an empty bowl and I looked at my watch, I'm like, honey, it's Thursday. You fucking didn't feed the dog? Yeah, it's your day to feed the dog. <laughs> I'm going to walk away from the bowl. Yeah. 
and then you walk back in here yeah and or take a monday care of night you know what honey i know you're really tired but uh it's your night to cook so i'm gonna go take a fucking nap and when i wake up you better have dinner ready oh no oh that'd be good oh. it'd be such a fun fight like every night would be a new fight yeah <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be a new fight. It would just be an the old same fight. same fight. We'll just pick that scab. Man, could you imagine? No. No, I don't. No. We don't I argue. Don't. We don't even argue about any of that stuff. It's like. No. Whoever is for in the kitchen feeds the dogs. Yeah, for us, it's more of. <laughs> Who needs help? As, well, for us, it's more of. Did you feed the dog? Because I didn't feed the dog. Like, do we need to feed the dog? Or are we going to feed them twice? Because they will tell us. They will. The, they will act nobody starving all day, <laughs> but stare at it all day. It doesn't exactly. make sense. <laughs> Once you finally feed them, they're like, nah, I'm not that fucking yeah, hungry. Yeah, I'm going to stare at this till six tonight. Yeah, I'll eat this an hour before you dinner. give me my dinner. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. I just, I know. All the stuff that they were talking about, and it was like, who, who feeds the dog? <sighs> who puts the kid to bed? I guess whoever wants to spend time with the kid. Well, yeah. And who, who needs a break? Yeah, and also, you know, oh, it's that person's night to do the cooking. So the other one does the dish. We already do that. Every day. Every day. You made it. It just makes it easier. It does. You and if you have somebody in there cleaning while you're cooking, and all you have to do after that meal is put whatever you ate on in the dishwasher, and you're done. Done. And the kitchen's clean. And you're still, it's not just one person sitting on the couch. Yeah. Sure. Waiting. Waiting to clean up. And then how good of a cleanup is the person going to clean the whole kitchen? Like clean yeah. the kitchen? Oh, man. Really well, clean it? And then also, I mean, <laughs> this is just me, but if I'm pissed off that you're sitting on the couch doing nothing and I'm cooking dinner, I will use every motherfucking dish in, in the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Just it's because I'm angry. Hands down easier to go into the kitchen, help you. Yep. Clean as I'm going along. We eat together. It's just, it's simple. Yeah. It's so easy. Yeah. Plus you made it pretty clear. It pisses you off when it's <laughs> on the couch. <laughs> that was years ago. I the, made you that made clear. It, you made it pretty clear <laughs> that you do not like that shit. No. Yeah. Uh, guidelines for how often we should have a date night. Like... What, once a week? You have to put that in there? You, what if you don't get to it? Whose fault is it? Huh? Yeah. Like, if the kid's sick, right? <laughs> and Well, and, and what are they doing with the kid? Is there a, a babysitter rule who has to hire the babysitter? I mean, like, how far are these rules going on? I know. Well, okay, so every third Tuesday, you have to plan the date night and get the babysitter and i mean it just seems ridiculous your team doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense but i thought it was pretty funny that they were scheduling everything listen we have our rules that we've had for a long time yeah, well and we don't have a kid so it makes it probably pretty easy like you want to go grab dinner and drinks tonight no but i do want to have a drink tonight okay well there you go <laughs> then we don't go on a date night fuck it you know what i mean yeah like, well, exactly. We don't have kids, so maybe we don't have that aspect down. But still, get a fucking babysitter. Get a babysitter or take the kid with you or whatever, you know. Don't take the kid I mean, with a you. date a date night can even <laughs> just consist of being at home and you have, like, a nicer meal. Or you both cook it together. Well, it sounds like these two can't cook together. They do not sound like a they team. They don't sound like they do that much together. They are not on the <laughs> same team. Apparently, they don't do enough together because they have a whole list of things to... Yeah. You do this and I do this. Mm -hmm. uh, that would put you in a great mood. Oh, my God. If you just came up and, like, handed me a list. Here's the list I think we both should do. Yeah, and then I'm not going to do my part. Yeah, because you're vindictive. <laughs> no, I'm saying you hand me the list that oh, you and made I don't do and my then part? you didn't do your part. No, I'd make sure it was cool shit that I wanted to do. Yeah, I would, I would look over the list and yeah, no. Yeah. You clean the kitchen and bathroom, I'll go mow the yard. Well, you already have to mow the large yard, but you're going to clean the bathroom, too. <laughs> God.